Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some of that nerdy wrestling news. Paige and Del Rio getting engaged, stuff like this. Um, the family and lawyers are talking shit there, but real quick, I want to talk about Paige's second suspension. I think it's a big pile of bullshit. I think it's obvious WWE is going after her for Del Rio. You know what I mean? I can't prove this there, but we know what it's like with WWE. Rusev and Lana, they announced that they're engaged. WWE goes mental. They start to do a bunch of weirdo bullshit. They've done the same thing with Paige and Del Rio there. Um, basically, she had a neck injury. She has a legit neck injury. The doctor gave her painkillers, but she has a prescription for it. It's legal, <laughs> you understand? And she gets nailed with a suspension. Big fat pile of fucking bullshit there. If they're given a legit doctor's note for painkillers, they shouldn't get a fucking strike for that. It's standard practice. Go fucking to a doctor. You have a neck injury, a back injury, something like this. They're going to give you painkillers. That's as common as it fucking gets. Pretty fucked up that she gets a suspension for that shit. I mean, come on, fuck. Big difference between abusing painkillers to get high and receiving painkillers from a legit doctor because of a real injury. There's a big fucking difference there. Pretty fucked up that she gets suspended for that. I think this has to do with Del Rio. I have no way of, of understanding why one of the most popular women in wrestling gets suspended for having painkillers for a legit neck injury. Makes zero fucking sense to me. This looks like WWE acting like retarded tyrants as usual there. They can't handle that Del Rio left Shouldn't have treated him like a jobber there. That's why lots of wrestlers are leaving. Because they're sick of being mistreated by this garbage company. They act like fucking tyrants all the time there. But Paige has proposed to Alberto Del Rio. They were at some indie wrestling show there in Puerto Rico. There's pictures of this. Paige gets in the ring. She drops to her knee and proposes to Del Rio. It's different. A woman proposing to the man this and that there. But, you know, for some reason, people are pissed off at this. Not everybody. Um, I'm not going to play your hate on Del Rio. I've always liked him, you know. If he was able to bag himself a hot little fucking broad there, good for him, you know what I'm saying? And, sh you know, he's older than her, but who gives a fuck? If she's happy with him, that's what matters, you know what I'm saying? Plus, he's rich, you know, he's a real man, stuff like this. He's not a little bitch there like a TJ Perkins or something. Del Rio's a real man, motherfucker. He's got that money. You know, a classy guy, a star in wrestling, a fucking god in Mexico there. If she's happy with him, then, then you know, good for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to fucking hate on their marriage there. But for some reason, Paige's father has a problem with it. He wrote something on Facebook. Apparently it was removed there. Probably because of his terrible grammar and shit like this. This is what the father wrote word for word there. Putting his out there 
then saying no more about it to anyone. I am totally against my daughter marrying that man's statement over. Um, before this guy tries to control his daughter's life, Maybe he should learn how to write first, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this guy is some kind of mongoloid or what. Maybe he took too many fucking chair shots to the head over there in Europe. I'm, I'm not sure there, but that's not a classy move. You know, if this father loves his daughter and he had an ounce of class there, maybe he could have said this shit to her in private. You know, are you sure you want to marry this guy? First of all, he should support her. She has the right to marry who she wants. She's not a fucking, you know, somewhere in India with fucking pre-organized marriages or something. She's allowed to marry who she wants, but that's a fucking lack of class there. To talk shit about his daughter and her husband, her future husband on the internet. For everybody to see just seems fucking retarded, you know what I mean? The way he writes, talking about his own daughter in public like this, about her marriage. This guy seems like he has a couple of screws loose, you know what I'm saying? And then her brother chimed in. Hope you're okay, Dad. Why wouldn't he be okay? Nothing happened to him. Silly girl. The truth will come out. What truth? What the fuck is this retard talking about? The truth will come out. Stay strong, bud. Hate seeing my family hurt. Is this a family of mongoloids or what, dear? Why would this family be hurt? Who talks like this to their father? Stay strong, bud. Who the fuck calls their father bud? You know, seems like a fucking family of idiots right here. If Paige is happy with him, that's what matters there. I think his family uh, needs to get a fucking life there. Quit being jealous of your daughter's success there. I mean, come on, fuck. And Paige wrote on Twitter, When you have something that's unbreakable, you keep it. Never have I loved someone so much in my life. Thanks for the love you give me. You're my world. You know, that's probably a response to her dumbass fucking brother and father there. But, you know, if she's happy, then good for her. You know, good for both of them. And the lawyer that's involved in Alberto's ex-wife's divorce. Him and his ex-wife are still divorcing. So for some reason, this lawyer got involved. The divorce isn't finished, blah, blah, blah. Paige should watch how Alberto is denying and treating his wife and the mother of, of his children in this divorce. History repeats itself. Another fucking douchebag there. And you gotta look at the context here. This is a divorce lawyer. The wife, he's like, oh, he, she's being denied. Obviously, in this context, the wife is trying to fucking milk Alberto dry, trying to get his money. And Alberto is denying this bullshit. That's probably why this lawyer's talking trash, because he's not getting free money that Alberto fucking worked for. That his wife probably didn't earn 10 cents during their marriage. Oh, he's denying his wife. Get the fuck out, you greedy fucking piece of shit lawyer. What a disgusting motherfucker. History repeats itself, you know, the fuck out of here. Um, you know, a bunch of drama with this shit there. Uh, personally, like I said, I'm happy for Del Rio and Paige. If they're happy together, good for them. I think the brother and the father and this 
random money hungry lawyer I think they can go fuck themselves there you know what I'm saying if Paige is happy with him she's happy that's you know we're, we're in the year 2016 there if they're happy together they're happy so congrats to my man Del Rio for having sex with hot ass Paige there El Patron motherfuckers Probably has a Mexican cock this big, fuck, which is why she likes him. <laughs> Until next time, peace!